Hi, I'm Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group with today's home buyer tip. With us today is Chris George from Attorneys Title Group LLC. Chris, how are you doing? I'm good, Scott. How are you? I'm doing great. So we have an important topic today, and it's a question I get frequently. It's, hey, Scott, I want to buy a house because I'm getting divorced. Um, what do I need to do and what do I need to be aware of? And Chris is going to talk about some potential title issues you could mm -hmm. have if you don't uh, do things properly. Sure. Yep. So take it away, Chris. Sounds good. So you certainly can buy if you're married and in the midst of a divorce. There's nothing saying you can't. That's fine. However, there are a couple of things that one needs to be aware of if they do that. Um, in Minnesota, it takes one to buy and two to sell. That adage is true. Uh, and it's, it's funny because I always thought when I was younger that that was just one of those generic things. But it actually holds true. So if you, if you buy and you're married, that's fine. But if you sell, you need your spouse to join. So if you are married and in the midst of a divorce and the divorce is not finalized by the time that you actually purchase. Uh, you would need to make sure that when you sell, you file the divorce decree showing that you're no longer married and a quick claim deed from your ex-spouse to clean up that interest. So that would be, those are kind of the two things that need to be done if you buy and your divorce isn't finalized yet. And I see this frequently where the separation is amicable, mm -hmm. like where they're, you know, the, the, the husband, you know, they're selling a home and the husband and wife are buying separate properties. Yep. Um, it's just that many times procedurally, if they don't do that properly, it could create a problem later on sure. where yep. things may not be amicable, right? The, the idea being is that if the divorce isn't finalized until after you purchase, hopefully the attorneys that are handling the divorce would include that property as yeah. part of the decree and then award it, you know, to the correct people because it was never really part of the marriage estate. It right. was just something that was done almost as a result of the divorce. They just couldn't get the divorce finalized in time. And therefore, the and if decrease. someone doesn't do this properly, then they're looking at potentially more court time. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it all depends. I mean, if the if the decree doesn't fa doesn't deal with the property, then you'll need a quick claim deed from your ex spouse. Okay. And if your ex spouse is cooperative, that's fine. You know, he or she can go ahead and sign it, and it's not an issue. However, if there's acrimony or if there are issues, right. that becomes more of a problem. I like that word acrimony. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, and it comes up, and so you just want to make sure that you're aware. You know, so you know, again, just make sure, like anything else, information is really important. So right. you know, you let your, you know, your lender's going to know, your agent's going to know, but you also want to let your attorneys know that you know you want to make sure that this property is dealt with as per the divorce because divorce won't be finalized when you buy it so awesome so chris if someone wants uh, more information on this how do they get hold of you they can call me my cell phone number is 651-338-6632 that's the best way to reach me or you can email me my email address is cgeorge at attorneys title mn.com awesome this is really helpful thanks chris you're welcome I'm Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group. As always, if you want to get a hold of us, the number is 612-600-8888, 612-600-8888. Call or text or 24-7 online at verde-realestate.com. We hope this content has been valuable. And as always, if we can be of further service, please let us know. Thank you.